So what's up, family? What's up, good people? It's been a long time. It's been a minute, but we are back. So today I'm going to be doing my mama's hair. Just as you can see, you know, right here on this channel, we do everything live. So if it's your first time, kindly make sure you hit on that subscribe button and also like and share if you feel like, you know, this video made you smile or you learned something from this channel anyway right on to the video i'm doing my mama's hair and i'm doing like braids i don't know the name of the braids because i'm not a professional southernist but yes i do my mama's hair just like you can see right here so you know if you are an african and you know you've been doing braids on your hair you know you go so you know it's gonna be an interactive process right from my mom to me she's gonna be giving me the uh <laughs> the hair and i'm you know i part i separate the hair and so on and so forth it's a, you know a, a repetitive process just as we go by and of course you can see it's a pretty intense process it is also like you know a very involving process you can see from time to time like my mom's reaction <laughs> you know it, it involves a, a lot of you know moving around and so on and if you watch my other video where i was doing a diy on my own hair on the crochet braids this is now not crochet this is the real deal this is the real braiding and this is how it happened so i got like a little hack that i normally use because it's hard to get the braids neat right from the roots right so that is why you see even a lot of people are using gel and so on but i don't like using gel so i don't even know how to do it so what i do is like i start braiding the real hair and then i add the piece as we go by i don't know how it's the braids <laughs> as we go by i keep on adding the braids and then you know i combine it together with the hair and that's how it goes and that's what is going on right now so what i normally do is i start a little bit with a you know a little bit a little piece and then i'll keep adding so i'll, I'll add like a second time and uh, that's it for the piece of hair that i'm holding all the way to the end and until the next time that i'm doing the next section of the hair that's what is going on let us break it right there for a little bit of story time a lot has happened since the last time that i posted something for one i am a wife now you know you can call me somebody's wife so it's been a whole transition i am no longer the same person that you knew last year or you knew at the beginning of the year or you know so on so that is a very big deal for me because you know uh time like this last year i was celebrating something else which was like an engagement and right now i'm celebrating my marriage like transitioning into the next life all i can say is so far it's a beautiful thing <laughs> but it's too early to say that but i, I wanted to be the you know uh we'll see how it goes and i think i'm ready to take it all the way to the end and i want to ask god to bless me and my partner as we go through this new process and that's really it i normally consider this period so magical because you know it's not just the braiding of the hair it's a magical process because you know there's a lot of bonding that happens during this process when i'm doing the hair because you know we get to catch up on a lot of stuff and uh, you know just <laughs> share the moment enjoy the moment and so on however it's not so much enjoying on the other party i know because you know they have to endure a lot of things <laughs> but you know you normally say like you know my hands are not so painful and so on if you understand what i'm saying you understand so um and also another part is like you know it's less costly because now they just get to buy the hair and i do the hair for them so you know it's less costly and uh y'all know like when you do your hair around here you know it's ridiculously 
you know, high and so on. So uh, they get to save a few bucks here and there. So I am glad I can help them with things like that, you know. And uh, it really means a lot to me. It really means a lot. So um, still I'm um, asking the same thing. If it's your first time dropping by, kindly make sure that you subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. So that every single time we make an upload, you're gonna be amongst the first people to know that we did just that and uh, so that you can spread the word. Anyway, regarding the latest story that has been trending in Kenya, uh, there was um, some malicious acts from the Boda Boda guys. And I do not condone that. Currently, we are on a break on Wendy Talk Show right there on my Facebook page. But we're going to be coming back because uh, this is something that I feel like, you know, it needs a lot of emphasis. And uh, as much as, you know, as much as we can get in order to let it out there and stop these barbaric behaviors. I honestly feel like you know men like that should be dealt with thoroughly i personally feel like you know they should undergo a very serious process of uh, public castration and things like that because you know i don't like when women feel so defenseless and uh, they are screaming for god's sake and nothing is being done about it people are recording and enjoying themselves i don't like that Speaking, I was so impressed with how the hair was coming along. And if you are, say something in the comment section too. I don't know if you noticed something, but I was really struggling to record myself while I'm doing the hair. And then I had my husband come through and help me with this thing. Woo! By the way, the whole process took um, about... <laughs> how long was it maybe two hours two hours max everything two hours uh but the thing was you know i was meant to do like the big ones but my mom changed her mind so i had to do the smaller ones but it worked at this point farm the hair was done and i was impressed with how it came along let me know how you think about the whole thing <laughs> and i'll see you around Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and for your endless and continuous support. I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you so much and be safe. Oh, mm -hmm.